Okay. I hope everybody's having a good Labor Day weekend so far. And welcome to today's fitness class. Um, before we get started, all you'll need is two resistance bands and some dumbbells. And don't worry, you don't have the resistance bands. It's just one exercise. And the format's just going to be going to go through each set of workouts. And you're going to go through the set three times. At the end of the first set, I'm going to ask you to pause just so I don't have to repeat it two times over. And then when you're done that, the last two sets after the first set, then you unpause and then we'll go into the next um, set of exercises. So a little bit more suit this morning. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Our first one is just going to be a standing dumbbell shoulder press. So, what I want you guys to focus on is having that core engaged, but there's no curve in this back. So, kind of what a curve would look like. We want that core pressed back so that the small of our back isn't sticking in. And we're just going to do about 10 to 15 repetitions, and that's for each set. So ready, go. One, two, three, four. I'll turn to the side so you can see four of the engaged. Small of my back is not sticking in. All right. So feel free to do about 10 to 15 of that. We're going to do a couple seconds. The next one will be a glute wrench. I'll show both angles. So I want to kind of similar thing. There's no gap under your back. Your legs are about hip width apart. You have a little bit of distance between your, your butt and your heel. And you're going to start just pushing down through your big toe and your heel and squeezing that hamstring and that butt muscle. We're coming up just like that. Nice slow reps. Not too fast, keeping that core engaged. Again, pushing through the big toe and the heel. We should be feeling most of the activation back here and through our core. Turn around. Again. Up. All right. Next one will be toe touches. This one's really simple if you've done the express abs. We've done this a few times. So it's simply just going to be legs up, fully extended. And we're trying to touch this so it was it's okay to have a little bit of a bend if you're inflexible like I am. Let's keep going, 10 to 15 reps. And this is about the point where you're going to pause the video and finish the next two sets. All right. Next uh, exercise, I'm assuming we won't pause by now or we awkwardly kept it playing. We're going to do dumbbell core press. So again, the same thing I'm kind of repeatedly asking, keeping that core engaged. Small of the back isn't lifted off the ground. All right, and we're just going to come down like this, 90 degree angle. Angles are behind our elbows, not out like this. Behind the elbow. So we're getting a nice push through. Making the dumbbells kiss and then going back down. Another 10 to 15 reps. But I believe it's comfortable for you. Keep this tempo. I'm not trying to go through it super fast. All 
next one will be suitcase squats. So think about it just like you were bending down to pick up a suitcase. We don't want too far of a spread on this one. So just kind of like how I have it now, just under hip width. So we're just going to go down. Primarily feel this in your hamstrings. That's that muscle below your butt. And a little bit of the quads of these muscles. Another 10 to 15. All right. So next one. Um, I recommend like pushing up against something. So in this case, I'll have to wash this off later. But I kind of like the mirror, I'm going to do tricep kickbacks. And I'm just pushing that arm back, keeping the elbow glued against the side. I'll kind of show you what it would look like. Pretend I have something I'm leaning on. Should be feeling a tight squeeze in there. Same thing, other side. Nice soft bend in the knees. And this is where we get to pause. Each exercise, 10 to 15 reps, three to four sets, whatever, um, whatever you have the energy for. All right. Now that we want to pause it again, I'll show you the last one. In. All right. So this is where the resistance bands can come in. If you don't have them, don't worry. You can just do the regular gorilla row. Don't necessarily need these bands. You can have the infinity loops. So those probably work better if you have the mini ones. But this exercise is called gorilla rows. You get down like this, nice flat back. Keep, that way it keeps those elbows tucked in. You see the way my thumbs are placed? So just like that. that way, if they wrap around here, most of the tension is going to come up through the shoulders. If they're wrapped like this, you'll actually see it through the back. So we're just pulling it up to our chest. Nice easy reps. So I'll show up with the resistance bands. You're gonna wrap it around your feet. At least like step on it. Move the dumbbell up. All right, three, two, one, go. This way you can use the same weight and add a lot more tension. So if you don't have heavy dumbbells, make sure when we're doing this, the back is flat, not curved out. Last couple of ones, simple creature curls. And since I don't have a seat, this is typically what a creature curl would look like. I would just be sitting down, not on my knee. Taking our elbow, pushing it up against our thigh, and just coming up just like this. Again, 10 to 15 reps. So if you just want to do the easier modified ones, just standing. Bicep curls. Cross with push ups. So, just something simple to round off what we've done today. We're hitting the total body, so kind of trying to touch every muscle group. Hence the push ups. So, I'll start with modified first for those who have trouble doing push ups. 
Uh, we sit going down on our knees. Just make sure we're letting all the weight come down through that chest so that you actually have some resistance. Remember, no cheating. Nice flat back. And this is where you finish your three sets. You can pause. All right. I hope everybody had a great workout. Hope everybody had an awesome weekend.